question the other day from my good friend Yogi. He's just gone and bought himself the new FPV drone, the Avata 2. Um, he's never flown a drone in his life. So he did ask me, Sean, are you going to do any tutorials on the new drone? And I had to tell him, sorry, Yogi, my wife won't let me <laughs> buy it at the moment. But I will buy it later on in the year. But at the moment, I won't be buying it. But if you didn't know, guys, if you go into your Fly app, be whatever you use, be your uh, RC2 or your RC or your phone or your tablet, if you go to the top there, So what you're going to notice, guys, top right hand corner, you will see it, Academy. If you just tap on that with your finger, what will happen the first time you go into it, it will give you um, a beginner um, and it give you a selection of choices. And because I've already <laughs> been looking on it, it keeps going back to what I've been looking at. But if I just tap on where it says, if I to two, Right, so you've got a choice of drones there, obviously all DJI drones. You've got from the latest ones right down to the Phantom series and the Spark. Anyway, going back to my good friend Yogi, he wanted to know a little bit more about tutorials actually on the Avada 2. So if you just tap on that, and what you've got there, you've got the Learning Centre and the Course Library. Now, we've got the Learning Centre. Now, if I just tap off the beginner there, you've got four other choices. You've got the beginner, elementary, immediate, intermediate, and advanced. But at the moment, because it's a, it's a new drone, they haven't made those videos yet. So just bear that in mind. But obviously, for a beginner, which I think everybody has to start somewhere, if we just tap on the beginner... And you can go to it's the beginner's guide, and you've got some videos there. If I just tap on that, and what it is, you you can to get some idea as a beginner, you just press continue, and then it will you can see already on the right hand side, I've viewed 18% of that. Um, and I I can safely say that once I do buy this. FPV drone. I'll probably be going through those tutorials anyway. But if you just press continue, and what it would do, it take you through the first drone, first uh, instructional video. So I'm not gonna put you through that whole lot of that. But it then it would just continue, and you can obviously stop it. You can move it. Another thing. Uh, what you will find in some of the videos, <laughs> they're in Chinese. But don't panic, because it comes up with text. And you, if you notice where it's got subtitles, you can click on that. Because you might not be English, you might be something else. You can set that to... Oh, I see, you've only got a choice between Chinese and English there. I'll show you later on then. Um, that, that fooled me a little bit there. Anyway, if we go back... Just want to give you some idea. I think it, I think it's a brilliant idea myself. Um, I mean, I know us YouTube people. We we show you tutorials as well. But I think it's always good to have a reference, especially if you're out and about and you just forgetting how you, you do a hyperlapse or something. You can go on your phone, especially on your phone, because you'd be probably onto the internet anyway. Uh, with this, it's not going to be stored into your thing, but you can share it. That's the, that's the good thing about this. So you've got uh, device functions, flight safety. It's coming soon. So it's just letting you know. I mean, obviously the FPV thing is, is something really new. So what I'll do, I'll come out of the Avada 2 and we go into the Mini 4 Pro because that's been out for a while now. But still a very good drone. Uh, a lot of people still think about buying the Mini 4 Pro. So you've got the this, this same sort of thing there. Um, if we just go into the learning center again, now if you obviously for a beginner, 
this is what you would see. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, if I continue, Okay, now if I go over to the subtitles, I'm going to have to stop Welcome that to... just to see if we got a choice there. So subtitles, so this is what was on the back. For all the other foreign people, I'm talking about the Germans, the Spanish, the French, uh, you can choose your subtitles, which I think is really good as well. So we just click that off again. We've just come out of that. So you got you got some idea what, what this is all about. And if I go back on that, we've got the course library. Now, don't forget, we're still on the beginner's side. Um, and we can click down here. You've got more courses, uh, ND filters, wide angle, hyperlapse, master shots, focus track. And if I come back, back to Learning Center and click off beginner, if I go into elementary, so we got sort of, the, this is probably my, my, <laughs> my part, really, elementary. I'm no, I'm no, you know, better skills, but just the basic flying skills, really. And if we, let's say we clicked on this one here. As you can see, I viewed that 2% because I think what this one was, was in Chinese. So if you notice there, you, you've got the subtitles below it. And just to prove it, you can change, you know, you've got the subtitles, whatever language you want it to be in. So, that, I mean, that, that's what I think is pretty helpful. So let's go back for the most. Um, we we'll click on the course library if you want to have a quick look at that. They got loads of videos on here, guys. Okay, if I if I do the beginner, let's go down to advanced for the, the, the super duper people. Now this obviously to do with the advanced, we're talking about the goggles itself. So Yogi, if you're watching, this is probably gonna be very useful for you as well. And now it's talking about um unlocking them, um uh, head tracking circles those sort of things if you continue you go straight into the video so okay it's in chinese but it's got subtitles there as well and you got is it helpful unhelpful and also if you notice next to it <laughs> if it tempts you into buying it you can just click on the uh, the packs. Now, what you'll see in there, I'm in Spain, so that's why it's in Euros. So we come out of that. Okay, we come out of that. Let's go into course library. Now, I think another good thing about this, guys, is those people that get pants weather, even here in Spain we get pants weather, when you've got time to just sit here and wish you was out flying and you can't go flying, you can sort of go over these videos to see uh, you want to try out something new, you want to try out uh, what I've done the other day, the dolly zoom or the hyperlapse, those sort of things. And Because I'm, I'm the same, when I go out sometimes and I've forgotten how to do something, Cruise control is another one, isn't it? Uh, it just you just remember, <laughs> you know. It's come. It's getting all that information. So I hope you found that useful, guys. I mean, what what was interesting? Let's come off the mini drone a minute. Let's go back right down to the bottom. Now I did go into the Phantom series. Um, what I found with the Phantom series, it's pretty basic. There, there's not a lot. Um, that you can go. It's more about um, learning about the sensors. Let's go. Sorry. So there you notice 
they're still putting these videos together. So the beginner is coming soon. The advanced is coming soon. If we go into elementary, um, photography basics. I'll just click on that. For us people that used to fly the old phantoms, and it's just, I think this is more, not literally about how to fly the phantom itself, but understanding how the, the photography side of it. So, And you can turn the volume down. And you got, if you notice there, you've got headphone settings and things like that. I, I think it's really, really useful, guys. It'd be, it'd be lovely to hear what your, your um, ideas are on this. Would you ever use it? I think, I mean, I, I, I personally think I would use it. Especially if I'm, I just noticed another thing I was looking at. The Phantom series. Because one of, because one I've got, I've got some of these drones. Well, I'll be honest, I haven't got them all, but I've got the Spark. Um, and if I go over to the Learning Center on the Spark, same sort of thing. It's going to get, it's going to show you the same sort of thing. If we go into elementary, we're going to see the photography, all the basics that you would expect to see when you go into the the drone itself to setting up the camera and those sort of skills. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. Well, I did. What I did like about this was that, that when you're watching these videos, it's told you that you've watched it. Um, yeah. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can get the Afata, the first one. And we knock off that one. And so it's only got elementary at the moment on the Avata. Okay. So it hasn't got the intermediate or the advanced. So we'll just have a quick on there. So it's giving you a bit more information there, which I think is pretty good. So if we tap into that, so we got how many videos we got on that? Okay, it's got about flying straight, hover, turning, yeah. And I can see there it's got five. I'm not talking about the virtual flight tutorials, and loads of people have joined it as well. You've learned, and it's also give you. Um, if you notice there, you've learned, I've, er, I've learned nothing so far on that, <laughs> but I'm sure later on I will. Anyway, let's come out of that. So guys, I hope you found that useful. Um, I certainly did. I didn't even know it was on there, to be honest. I've always looked at the academy, never really bothered to take much notice of it. But anyway, hope you found it useful as always. I can safely say there'll be another video coming very soon. Mm -hmm.